Hi everyone, it's Monica here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I, I miss you all and I just wanted to let you know what's been going on because I know I've been missing in action for the past couple of weeks or so or more. Um, basically, what is happening? It's all good. Um, but I was having technical problems at some point. I I think I mentioned that I was recording the November monthlies um, and then I don't know why I lost them and then I started to re-record but then um, I started a new job and it's a full-time job and it's a wonderful job and I'm very happy but um, there's a lot of training that I've been doing like this is my second week training and it's just been a little bit overwhelming so I haven't had a lot of time to do videos or anything um, I have been doing some private readings and um, trying to get them back as soon as possible to people. Um, yeah, that's what's been happening. That's that's what's going on with me. Um, and we do have a big family weekend this weekend, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to record videos this weekend. However, I do plan Monday next week to record as much as I can for December okay to do December monthlies um, I plan and hope to get December monthlies done next week within a few days a couple of days three days just depends what else I'm gonna have come, coming on and going on um, and then the plan is to start doing forecasts okay for uh, for the next year for each sign and we'll see how we go uh, but yeah that's what's been happening a lot of change but positive change I feel like there's been one thing after another with me this year um, I've been really really struggling to make a plan and be able to stick to it uh, through no fault of my own um, I just gave up and I'm like okay whatever it's but fine let's go with it it's just adapting and adjusting and sometimes I don't have time to do things so but it's all good and everyone's good and happy and healthy so I'm happy so I hope everyone's happy as well, and I hope you've been doing well. I have missed everyone. Um, it's, mm, I'm really, really happy and excited to be able to just get back to work, just get back to doing ready, readings and tutorials and all of that, and uh, just, just get back into it, really. Okay, so thank you so much for all your patience. Thank you for your emails and your messages and just checking in, making sure I'm okay. Um, I do appreciate that, okay, and I have missed everyone. So what I wanted to do now, after that quick video of, well, intro explaining what's going on, um, I wanna do a weekly reading, okay, for the week beginning December 3rd, um, 2018. So I got a new deck, actually arrived today. It's really, really beautiful. So it's the Tattoo Tarot deck, Ink and Intuition. Very pretty deck, big box. Um, nice booklet, big, beautiful, sturdy cards. Um, so I just wanted to put them to work right away. Um, and I thought, you know, it'd be a nice touch, especially since we haven't seen each other in a long time. Um, so let's pull some cards and see what we get. Okay, so it's going to be general for everybody watching. I'll be pulling in different messages for everyone. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, let me just pull some cards here. The bottom of the deck we do have the four of cups as the overall energy so hopefully you can see the cards are really really pretty so with the four of cups um, for some I feel that this talks about change looking for change all right so feeling like you want something different um, or feeling like is this it so there's slight disappointment um, high expectations that maybe are not quite met um there's just restlessness of i just want something different 
I'm just, I'm not happy here. I don't fit. I don't feel like this is for me. Um, and we could be feeling this way in our romantic relationships. We could be feeling this way regarding work. Um, we could be feeling this way within our social circles, with our hobbies, okay? We may be going through some changes, okay? We change all the time. We change a little bit every day. If we're lucky, we learn and we grow and we change. Um, so I think that's the energy that, that's coming up here with the Four of Cups. Just be mindful. There might be a tendency because emotions are a little bit all, all over the place. I don't know what's going on in the sky, um, what the moon is doing or what what's going on. If there's, if there's something going on in the sign of cancer, I don't know. Um, but it just feels like we're a little bit more sensitive than usual. And we may have a tendency to feel overwhelmed more easily than usual or um, to kind of be disappointed or just give up more easily than usual okay so there's something around emotions for some it's because of exhaustion and we just get i know i do hypersensitive when we're exhausted uh, and everything is hurtful and everything is personal and everything is too much so for some it's just that for others it's just a prolonged period of just like stalemate energy, like nothing happens, nothing's going on, nothing is changing, I'm not really happy, maybe we haven't done anything to change the situation, but we weren't happy, and now we're starting to get a little bit restless, like, okay, I'm ready to change the situation. So let's have a look. For career, finances, work, um, studies, business, we do have the King of Coins, the Fool, and the Knight of Wands. So definitely, definitely job change for some, career change for others, changing your major, changing what you study in, changing where you go to school. Uh, for some, this is starting an apprenticeship, which is something you haven't done before. Um, starting your business. For some, this is just quitting, <laughs> just quitting. You come to the point where, and this is going to be different for everyone, okay? Obviously, don't quit if you have no other option and you're going to struggle financially. But it's for some, I do feel like you go to work, something happens, and it's the final straw, or nothing happened and happens, and that's the final straw. And you're saying, you know what? I'm going to, I want something different. So I'm just going to quit today, and then maybe you have a notice period or whatever, and you're going to be looking for something else during that time. But there is new energy. There's fresh energy, okay, coming out of the stale energy with the fool. We're hopeful, we're starting to feel optimistic. It's like, I don't have a plan. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. I'm not sure exactly which direction I'm gonna go. I just know I need to get going. Okay, so that can be new job. Um, maybe, especially with the Four of Cups, if you've been waiting to hear back from job applications, interviews and such, the news is coming in, you got it, you're good to go, you can get started, okay? For some, you're at the end of your notice period and you're starting to get concerned and anxious that you haven't found anything else yet. And that's where the Knight of Wands comes in. Quick salvation, great job, maybe in a different field, maybe in a, with a completely different feel to it or in a completely different place because with the Fool, it's just completely different. It's completely new and it's beautiful and it's growth, okay? Um, this is also, ascending to a new level with career some place you haven't been before so maybe you know you've been doing admin all your life and now all of a sudden you have the opportunity to be a manager to lead a team to lead a something a department so it's something that's very different than what you've been doing comes with authority with power with better pay and benefits um but it is a like a complete leap of faith so you learn as you go basically with it with this energy but yeah, definitely job change, career change, changing what you study, changing what you do for a living, changing um, changing things up with your own business, walking away from a business or starting a business, okay, with the full, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, for some, you're going into blogging, traveling, um, teaching for others, okay, um, construction, real estate, education on different levels. For some, you're taking a job in a different city or completely a different country, okay, with this energy. So it comes with a bigger move than just changing the job. But with the King of Coins there, it's something that it has excellent potential, okay? So you do the, you do the work, you do your best, 
you will be rewarded for it, okay, definitely. But yeah, there's an offer, there's an opportunity where it looks promising, your heart is telling you go for it, and you're just going to have to make a decision based on how you how you feel, but not, you know, how you feel. It's like what your heart is telling you, what your intuition is telling you, okay? Because it will just pretty much tell you to jump for it. Um, and if you have been looking for a job and it's been going on for a while, this is saying take a chance on something different, okay? Take a chance on something different, however that makes sense to you. For emotional life and love life, we have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Coins. For emotional life and love life, there are conversations to restore stability. There are conversations about commitments for some of, uh, okay, so where are we? Because we've been going back and forth, on and off. What's going on? What are we doing? I need something more concrete here. I need to know what's happening. I need clarity. And um, further, this is moving in together. For some, this is breaking up because with the Four of Coins and the Four of Cups and the overall energy, it's been difficult. It's been stale. Uh, constricting, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling unfulfilled, um, and it's just wanting a change, okay, it's just like, okay, that I can't keep doing this, and that's the Ace of Swords, that's the honest conversation, and the cutting of ties with the Six of Swords, it's moving on and moving up, um, or moving out, okay, with this energy. For some, this is about um, a divorce where you're now splitting the assets or you're speaking through your lawyers um, or you're going to court and it's splitting your assets, your property, everything that you own together, okay, with this energy. But the good news is it restores stability for you. So even though it's not a happy event um, and there are assets being split up, it restores stability if that's something that resonates with you if that's what uh, makes sense to you then it, it restores stability to you um for others this is traveling together traveling to make something official traveling to make something um legal so getting married abroad um getting married and then sorting out documentation visas things like that okay is happening with this energy um, for others, this is signing contracts, licenses, paperwork, uh, for a house, for property, because it's where you put your nest egg, okay? Um, you've been saving up and now you've been saving up, you've had to hold back from a lot of things, sacrifice a lot of, you know, purchases or things that would make you happy or whatever because okay, no, I'm on a budget, I have to save, I have to save, and it's just kind of depleting your energy, it makes you feel like stuck and stale um but it's finally coming up it's finally going to move forward you're finally going to be able to start this whatever this is they've been saving up for together okay um for those of you who have been looking to meet someone okay there's something in your past that's holding you back there's this appointment the disappointment of the past the pain of the past is keeping you stuck and you have the walls up Okay, so no one new can come in because you don't want them to. It's like rationally you think, yeah, I want to meet someone, but subconsciously the wall is up. There is no one coming through this wall. Okay, that's the attitude. That's what's going on in the subconscious. So just something to be aware of with the Ace of Swords. It's about becoming aware and conscious of patterns or fears or doubts okay, that, that might be holding us back, even within relationships where we're not sure. There may be some fear of commitment. There may be some fear of whatever um that we do or we uh, portray and maybe we're not fully aware that we're doing that okay so things from the past that we've been doing this is a time when we become aware of the fact that we've been doing that and why okay so that can help develop relationships that can help resolve issues within relationships um as well and further it can just help give you closure so you're free to move on okay But travel, definitely travel for love. So travel to meet someone, travel to be with someone. Meeting someone on a trip can happen with this energy as well. 
For your social circle, so home and family, friends, we have the two of wands. So there's the move for some of you. They're changing job and going abroad completely or just moving. The eight of coins and the justice card. So home and family, for some, you're definitely dealing with a divorce and it's, it's going to be final, okay? It's the week when it's going to be final. You go your separate ways, you take what is yours and you move on um, and away, okay? Um, with this energy for others this is getting that place getting the home with the nest egg with the eight of coins the four of coins okay so you're getting the home and you're moving moving in together with someone else or you're moving on your own um with with this energy um there are partnerships again partnerships being made official so for some this is about starting a home-based business um, and is setting it up and making sure everything's legal, legal and official with an accountant or an advisor or whatever the case may be. For others, this is signing contracts, exchanging contracts uh, uh, to do with assets, property, homes, okay, anything that you might be selling. Um, if you have a home-based business, this could be a week where things look are looking up, things are increasing, there's commitments happening, there's contracts coming in, there's orders coming in. Um, there's a lucrative week coming up, especially for home-based business, okay? Or if you work with your family, there's lucrative, um, a lucrative week coming up. Um, for some, you are taking a child to university or you're helping someone move out, whether it's because of their studies or it's because they got a job and now they're able to, but someone's moving out. Um, with this energy for others, someone's moving in with this energy, okay, so it's very, very different there. Um, but good news, contracts to do with home, family, property, partnerships, lucrative business time, traveling, someone's coming home or someone's leaving. Um, with this energy because of some sort of a commitment or a contract or a promise they made okay um, and for health and well-being now I'm not a doctor and I can only kind of tell you what I pick up on so if anything resonates with you just get a just get an opinion of a from a professional okay so we've got the magician the strength card and the king of wands So this is around stress, uh, pressure, inflammation, to do with stress, uh, high blood pressure, short fuse, um, feeling restless, getting impatient, and that is causing, again, kind of makes the blood boil, okay? Um, for some, this is just stress and anxiety because of a medical procedure or because you're dreading having to see a doctor. But with the strength card there, this is pretty much saying, well, you have to face your fear. Whatever this is, you have to know what's going on or you have to do what you have to do. Okay, it's pretty much the, the message there. Um, for others, this is about getting a second opinion. So you've been speaking to someone um, and they're telling you something that scares you. Um, but it doesn't feel real, okay? It doesn't feel like, it just doesn't make sense to you. It's just, you think about it and it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel like that's what's going on. I, I cannot put that and me in the same sentence. Um, so where you have doubts, where you're not sure, where something's kind of scaring you, um, or you just, it doesn't feel right, okay? Just get a second opinion. Speak to someone else, okay? Speak to a different professional a different hospital or facility or practice okay with this energy um be careful of what's it called snake oil salesman if that's that's kind of what i saw so someone trying to sell you something or talk you into something that's a new lifestyle a new diet a new treatment did something very very natural did something too good to be true okay don't get me wrong natural treatments are very good but it's something where they're kind of building it up to say like this is perfect and their story makes so much sense okay but it's just fabricated so just be careful there um try to get some facts or you know um ask has this been tested uh, was the research on this or 
talk to an expert okay and just say okay this is what's what's what i'm looking at what what do you have to say here okay what's your professional opinion about this um because i do feel like there's someone trying to push something that is just not real okay um so just be aware of that but yeah temper temper um hot flare hot flares hot flashes hot flashes and something with flares um so be careful there try to stay calm if you do see yourself having a tendency to lose your temper you feel like you have a shorter fuse just be careful um because there might be an underlying situation going on okay but check your blood pressure um try to stay away from alcohol or anything you know that would enhance um, a negative state or an uneasy state um with this energy and get a second opinion whatever is going on whatever you were thinking about just get a, get a second opinion okay trust your intuition absolutely but we also have healing with the strength card getting your strength back healing um i feel that for some this is about a second opinion that puts you on the right track and for others this is um after the second opinion you get the right treatment it works right away the healing starts you feel better stronger um and so on feel more, more like yourself and so on okay so also coming up do your research study up read up okay and for some this is about graduation graduating from medical school you have exams and, and things like that okay medical school anything to do with the medical field do what you can to keep yourself grounded and a clear head on your shoulders and you'll do absolutely fine okay so that is our reading for the week ahead starting december 3rd oh my god it's already december um but yeah i hope that you enjoy it i hope you enjoy the cards um i hope that the reading makes sense and that it helps okay i'm looking forward to your comments as always thank you again for all your patience and all your wonderful support um i'm doing my best to just get back to work and back into a routine that i can keep, keep to as much as possible um but yeah you'll be seeing me again very very soon okay so let's have a wonderful week ahead and i'll talk to you again very soon bye for now